chaos today at a Lauder Hill fire station that was forced to evacuate over an explosive emergency. A woman walked into the building with a number of bomb making materials. A nearby elementary school was also cleared as a precaution. Local 10's Terrell Fournay is live with the details. Terrell. Well, tonight the all clear has been given here at this fire station and this Lauder Hill neighborhood. Firefighters knew they were up against the wall in trying to prevent a possible explosion. It had the potential to be a dangerous situation. The danger was inside of an orange five gallon utility bucket that a 71 year old woman dropped off to fire station number 57 in Lauder Hill. Uh, the lady was cleaning out her house in Davie. Her deceased husband passed away as a former Vietnam veteran and uh, she doesn't know why he had these materials and she was just looking for a way to dispose of them. That good deed turned dangerous when firefighters realized they were dealing with potassium powder, magnesium shavings and liquid glycerin, a component of TNT. The materials themselves by themselves uh, were, were stable, but because there's three of those materials together that could potentially could have been a hazardous condition. So the fire station was evacuated. And BSO's bomb squad was called in along with hazmat crews and the FBI. Nearby roads were also shut down and nearly 100 students and staff in an aftercare program at Royal Palm Elementary were told to take shelter. I've just been shocked when I seen all this from when I came home from work, really. So I don't know what was going on, so I'm just curious because it was so close to my house. After several hours, the bomb squad used a robot to separate the chemicals so hazmat crews could safely contain the items. A big scare, but certainly a tragedy averted for a woman who thought she was doing the right thing. You know, anyone that comes across materials in their house and they're unsure of what they are, don't transport them by yourself. So the answer, call 911 instead, or perhaps have a professional come out and inspect those chemicals. That 71-year-old woman, she was questioned by the FBI, but allowed to go home. Tonight, she is not facing any charges in connection with this incident. We are live in Lauder Hill. I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.